Making apple strudel is something that you will want to do over and over again once you master the technique of stepping the dough. That's really the trickiest part. I'm going to make the dough in a food processor, and to do that, I'm putting in two and three quarter cups of bread flour measured by the dip and sweep method that I talked to you about earlier on this tape. And then I'm adding four tablespoons of very soft, unsalted butter and a half teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to process this for about 10 seconds. And this is just to mix the flour with the salt and cut the butter into very, very small pieces. And then the rest of the dough consists of a beaten egg. And what you'll want to do is to beat the egg in a two-cup glass measure with a fork and then add enough water to come up to the one cup line. I'm just going to scoot down so that I can see where that one cup line is accurately. There we are. And then I'm going to add a half teaspoon of vinegar. Stir that all up and then start the machine again. And then add this uh, liquid through the feed tube, uh, taking about 10 seconds. And then as more and more of this liquid goes in, the dough will gather into a ball. Right there. And then once that happens, you're going to want to process for 30 seconds. Okay, now the consistency of the dough, pull it out of the machine, and it should feel fairly sticky, and it's fairly ropey, and that's exactly what you want. Put it back into the machine, and then process for another 30 seconds. And that is it. Um, there's your strudel dough. And it should be really silky smooth. I'm going to put this out on the counter right here. And if the dough is too sticky, add about a teaspoon or even up to a tablespoon of flour and process that in. And if you find that the dough is too dry, it's got to be real supple. I want you to take a close look at this. It's, it's not sticking to my hand. And I can work it. It's really nice and very, very soft and non-sticky. That's the texture that you want. Now. You need to develop the gluten in this even more. Uh, the machine does a very good job, but the hands do even a better job. And you're going to want to slap this dough down. Just pick it up and slap it down about 100 times. And this fully develops the gluten, this wonderful, stretchy network of protein that will give you a strudel dough that you can stretch paper thin uh, without tearing and will be able to support the apple stone. So just keep doing this for about 100 times. 99, 100. And there you have a beautiful, supple, supple dough all ready to relax. You've really worked it up to a frenzy of activity. And so what you want to do is put it into a bowl with um, a little bit of oil. And then after it's relaxed for a couple of hours, Look how stretchy it is. Look at that. See? And you can see this is going to be just an absolute dream to work with. So you want to put your dough out onto a big table that you've lined with a tablecloth or a very clean bed sheet. And then if you can look, you'll see that I've dusted it uh, fairly generously with flour uh, to prevent the dough from sticking. And then take some of your melted butter and then just brush it gently on top of the dough, and we're going to do this because we're going to actually start to roll the dough before we actually stretch it by hand. And uh, make sure that you center your dough right about in the middle of the table, and then take a big, big ball bearing rolling pin, and then with gentle strokes, work your way around, and start rolling it out. And you'll want to roll this out until, oh, it's about two feet long 
by maybe about a foot to 18 inches wide. One thing really important to remember when you're making strudel is that you need to work in a warm room. And about 75 degrees is absolutely ideal. Okay, that's just about it. So I think from now on, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my hands. I'm going to roll up my sleeve. And then the whole point is to get all of this dough stretched so that it overhangs this table. And so you can start by reaching in under and then just pulling the dough towards you and then pulling it away from you and then just kind of tugging, tugging at the ends. Do you see what's happening? When you look at the, you tug at the ends, then the dough really, really stretches very, very nicely. And then you can do short splits, very short pulls, very short tugs, until the dough increases even more. You see on the spinner the dough has gotten, and then what you really want to do is examine carefully the thickness of the dough at different sections. You'll see here the edges are thick, which is what you want, because that's what you're going to be tugging on. Here it's also a little bit thick, but here it's thin. So if you have sections like that, then get your hands under there, and then just move your fingers over and over, the so hand over hand, very gently. It's a very gentle tug. I want you to take a look at the fact that you can actually read right through the dough. So that shows you that this dough is absolutely perfect and thin enough to make into strudel. And what you're going to want to do, and this is, I'm going to do this before I actually brush the dough with butter, is to cut away these thick edges going all the way around. And then once that's done, then I'll brush the dough with butter. The dough is very thin. And if you just, if you brush this dough in a traditional way, meaning, you know, with strokes, you run the risk of tearing it. So I think the best thing to do is to take your brush and then just dip it in the butter and then just shake it. And once the butter has been drizzled evenly over the dough, then take your ground nuts and scatter them over. And then you have mixed up your strudel filling. Right after you finish brushing the dough on the, on the uh, Breaking the, the butter on the dough. Make sure that you just go and mix all of your apples and sugar, uh, cinnamon mixture, and raisins. Mix them all together. And then we're just getting them all kind of arranged in a, a very haphazard log. And, and we want this log to be several inches wide. like that. And then at this point you raise your feet and you flip that top layer of dough right over the, the apples. And if any of your apples have moved, just nudge them gently back into place. Now, strudel means whirlpool or eddy. And so typically what you do is this. You Roll the dough over, rolling it, rolling it, and then just let it run all the way to the end of the sheet. And there's your strudel. All formed very evenly, very neatly. And bring the last bit of dough over. And then use the bed sheet to flip that seam over. Just tuck everything together. And then you have these ends. And you press down on these ends, you see that this is just dough. And what you're going to want to do is just cut these away. I've, I've tucked the ends under, and then I have a, a baking sheet here that I brushed with uh, some of the melted butter. And now we're going to get this strudel onto the sheet, and you'll see that it's a little bit longer than the width of the pan. But you know what? You just lift this up, get it into the pan. It's not going to go anywhere. And just take the strudel 
to fill. Basically, that's all you do. And then you take the rest of the butter, and this is quite generous, brush it all over the strudel, and then you'll want to get it into a 450 degree oven for 15 minutes, which really helps the browning. And then you decrease the heat to 400 and let it bake for about another 20, 20, 25 minutes until when you uh, stick a knife into the strudel, you'll see that, that the apples are really tender. 